Cool. Give it up for Danny, guys. One more time for Danny. That's that guy. That's cool. I'm, uh, I'm Canadian. It's a big week for Canada. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw a few of you. Our prime minister uh, got caught in brown face. Did you see that? And not just like a little bit on, uh, smeared on his like really brown face. Like he did his hands. <laughs> like that's a guy who knows how to brown face. Yeah. <laughs> it was an Aladdin themed party in 2001. I was like, man, you should have went as the genie. Like, no one gets offended by blue face. Like, blue face, wide open. You guys can go blue face. The only per people who are getting offended by blue face is probably, like, uh, the blue man group. They're like, hey, that's our gig. <laughs> and, then he, and then he did black face, too. He just like, oh, God. We're supposed to be... If it was, like, Boris Johnson, you'd be like, yeah, that makes sense. But, like, the handsome guy from Canada? That's not... That's not how we do things, you know? We're probably just going to elect a big fucking blonde asshole. That seems to be the trend. Right? How come everyone's just electing big blonde assholes as their leaders? It's a fucked up world we're in, man. It's hard not to drink all the time. You know, have you ever tried to go like just completely sober and you're like, oh, God. <laughs> no wonder they invented alcohol. I'm drinking too much, man. I, I think all my friends think I'm a drunk, you know? Uh, like, we were out drinking the other night, and uh, I spent $100, or 100 quid at the bar, right? And uh, some of you are like, that's not a lot of money, but uh, I, I do comedy. That was my monthly income. <laughs> it's like, fuck, right? And I texted my friend the next day, and I was like, dude, I blew 100 at the bar last night. How did that happen? But my phone auto corrected that to uh, blew a Hindu. <laughs> yeah. And he didn't even put it past me, which was offensive. He was just like, man, you got to quit drinking. <laughs> he's, like, he's like, yeah, you know, Nick probably would get so drunk he'd blow a guy from New Delhi. <laughs> and he's like, oh, did you mean Justin Trudeau? Did you blow Justin Trudeau? <laughs> My makeup can be deceiving. I, uh, you know, it's crazy, man. I like watching that true crime. Do you guys like true crime? Yeah, right? Like Netflix and stuff. I, I saw this one about a couple in Russia who, uh, together, as a couple, uh, ate 30 people. Yeah, it's true. And uh, I'm single, and I, and I heard that, and I was like, that's kind of inspiring. <laughs> you know, there really is someone out there for everybody. <laughs> like, if those two can find each other, I'm, I'm going to find true love someday, right? Like, it's hard enough to find somebody with the same taste in music as you, uh, let alone the same taste for people. <laughs> right? I love British television, you know? I'm, I'm so naive, though. I thought the show Downton Abbey was called Downtown Abbey. Like, I never saw it. I thought it was just a show about a girl named Abbey who lives downtown, you know? She's like a modern city girl. She manages a cafe, writes a blog. That show is none of those things. <laughs> My new favorite show, though, is uh, Naked Attraction. That is some fucking... That's some cruelty. <laughs> that show's cruel. Did you guys shut all the dungeons down? You're like, uh, we got to torture people somewhere. Let's do it on TV. <laughs> like, who the fuck would sign up for that show, you know? Right? Like, they pretend to be all body positive on that show, right? They, they're like, we're, all bodies are beautiful. But I've never heard one person say, you know what? That guy with a tiny dick has a big heart. I'm going to go with him. <laughs> no one's ever said that. There's way too many charity commercials on TV. What's with all the charities in this country? It's like England did something in history and feels bad about it. I don't know. <laughs> It's weird. There's so many charities, and it's hard when you're trying to watch Naked Attraction, right? Because it's like there's a big set of tits on the screen, and then it cuts to a starving African boy. That's like a contrast that's kind of weird, you know? You're sitting there like, why don't they just send those tits to Africa? Feed those babies. You know, that's... Get some of those big, milky British tits down there and uh, <laughs> solve the, the world one boob at a time. That's how I want to do it, you know? I think the cruelest show on TV here, though, is definitely Antiques Roadshow, for sure. I love Antiques Roadshow. I love to see uh, a British 
person's face contort when they find out their precious aunt family heirloom's worth nothing. That's the best. <laughs> when just some guy like, this, thi- this tea set's worth 50 quid, and they're just like... <laughs> well, it's nice to know the history! <laughs> You know, as soon as the camera goes off, they just fucking toss Nanny's tea set in the lake. (laughs) Fuck this. That would never happen in America, you know what I mean? I think, like, Americans are too emotional, and they're not afraid to show their emotions, right? Like, they did Antiques Roadshow in America. Every episode would just end in a mass shooting, for sure. (laughs) You know? Just a guy going around fucking mowing down stamp collectors and, like... (laughs) Model train enthusiast, you know? <laughs> he wouldn't really be mowing them down, though, because he'd u- be using the antique musket that was underappraised, you know? <laughs> so you get one good shot off, and he'd be like, in three minutes, you're all fucked. <laughs> Just don't go very far. This thing doesn't have a lot of range. <laughs> but the bayonet's pretty sharp. <laughs> I, uh, I was a Boy Scout as a kid. Anyone else do Boy Scouts or Girl Scouts or anything? No? The only person here who served his country in uniform? Okay, cool. You're all cowards. I'm a hero. All right. Those badges didn't earn themselves, you know? I I did it until I was in high school, which is, I think, a little too old. Right? My friends were doing cool stuff, like driving cars, having sex, doing drugs, right? I was uh, wearing a sash and meeting boys in a church on Tuesdays. Yeah. I was like, this is probably why I'm still a virgin, you know? <laughs> no one wants to fuck Boy Scouts except for leaders. Yeah, it's, uh... <laughs> Not what I was looking for. And I told my mom I want the quiz Scouts, but uh, uh, I was raised by a single mother, and she wanted some you know, uh, positive role models in my life. Uh, so she was like, don't quit. You're learning valuable skills, right? Uh, uh, you know, and I was like, like what? She's like, uh, I don't know, you go camping? I was like, yeah, that's all we do. All we do is go camping. <laughs> Useless now. I live in England. There hasn't been trees here for like a thousand years. Like, <laughs> like I sometimes think about hanging myself just to tie a knot again. <laughs> right? <laughs> what are knots good for when you're an adult? It's, uh, you can tie your shoes... Have some weird sex or kill yourself. That's all you can do with knots. I I live with a bunch of gay dudes, a straight guy. It was kind of cool. It's a a room, uh, a house full of gay men. And uh, I came in there, and uh, it's kind of cool because I I started, like, fixing up the place. You know what I mean? I was like, hey, that... uh, the shed, the, 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 like the shingles are falling off, so I hammered that in, then I painted the living room. It was, it's like straight eye for the queer guy. It's, uh, you know what I mean? I'm getting all the handiwork done. It's fun. Um, but like one guy, uh, I was talking about it on stage, and this guy came up to me once, and he was like, hey, are you that comic with the gay roommates? And I was like, yeah. And he's like, let me ask you this question. Uh, do they fuck you? <laughs> And I, I was thinking, like, this guy's clearly homophobic. It'd be fun to mess with him a little bit. So I was like, yeah, they fuck me. It's in the lease. <laughs> I'm uh, contractually obligated to fuck them. You know, that's how it works. What's your rent? Mine's uh, 200 quid a month and a round of blowjobs for the boys. <laughs> that's uh, what I pay. You know, I... Uh, I applied for the apartment, they, they saw these lips, and they're like, oh yeah, he's in, for sure. <laughs> Get those DSLs in this house. Not talking about the internet. Dick sucking lips, that's what it is, okay. <laughs> you can take that one home with you. <laughs> that's cool. It's really like, honestly, like any other roommates I've ever had, except they bang dudes every once in a while, right? It's not like, it's not like overly sexual like people think, like a gay guys like living together. It's just, it's normal, right? Like, but people think I come home and just dodge cum shots like gay Temple of Doom, you know? Like dicks coming to the walls, cum flying everywhere. I'm like, whoa. Butt plug rolls down the stairs. I'm running away. 
One time I walked in on my roommate uh, uh, throwing his uh, a dildo in the garbage. I guess he was done with it, right? And, uh, and I was like, hey, can that be recycled? You know what I mean? So I've never seen someone throw away a sex toy. I just assumed you uh, passed it down from generation to generation or something, right? Seems too personal to throw in the garbage, you know? You don't throw other things that give you joy in the trash, right? Why would you throw a dildo, you know? I just imagine that there, you, know, you, you sit your granddaughter down one day and you're like... <laughs> <laughs> you know, this, this belonged to Nan You know what I mean <laughs> See that's solid oak Predate silicone You know Worn down from generations Of popping cherries And it's all yours right <laughs> Got your grandma through many fits of hysteria So uh, enjoy but uh, it was weird because you like uh, he's throwing it in the in the the trash and I was like man we got to look it up to see if that can be recycled right because like I just imagine that someday it'll wind up in a sea turtle's nose you know what I mean and <laughs> then they're like all right guys all the dildos are made of paper now you can, it's like first the straws then the dildos they're coming for the cylinders people if we're not careful. <laughs> I think the point is, um, uh, let's, let's save the environment so we don't have to fucking rub paper on our clits, right? Like, uh, <laughs> what, uh, <laughs> all right, I got to go. I was trying to, like, do a moral message, but I just got to get out of here. So uh, thanks a lot, guys. <laughs>